Hello. So, uh, Harpoon is a game that I was commissioned to make by the Edinburgh International Science Festival. And I figured that since it's kind of educational, or at least uh, it was designed to demonstrate some kind of principles of game development, uh, I figured it would make sense for me to uh, kind of walk through it and explain uh, some of the things it's trying to demonstrate. So, uh, Harpoon is a really simple arcade game. You're just trying to collect dots and maximise your score. Uh, where it gets a bit more interesting is that you can actually uh, add and remove layers of complexity to the game, or um, like in game dev parlance, layers of juice. Um, so uh, all the stuff that kind of affects how, it, how the game feels to play. So we start with this uh, really basic monochrome thing uh, with no sound, just the very bare bones of the game. Uh, and all of the game's rules are present at this point, but uh, uh, that's all. And those games, those rules will not change as I start adding layers of complexity. All it changes is the stuff that uh, affects the feel of the game. Uh, so we start with this monochrome thing, and the first step is to add a bit of colour. So it makes it a bit more interesting, not too much. Um, then start adding sound, and this is where things get interesting for me. Um, it always feels a bit like a magic trick once you add sound to a game that was previously mute. Uh, all of a sudden it starts to feel like it has a kind of physical presence, uh, like your actions have impact, even when it's just simple kind of beeps like this. Um, and kind of along those lines, uh, if we add a bit of screen shake, you start to feel a bit more, a bit more of an impact as you uh, fire your harpoon and it hits the walls and pulls you towards them. Um, uh, so from there, start adding particles. Uh, to begin with, it's just really simple effects that just uh, kind of highlight that you've collected something, uh, as well as the wee guy's eyes there. Um, and then add a bit of animation. So it's it's very simple animation here. It's just uh, tweening, uh, by which I mean uh, I'm just uh, altering the scaling of the of the main wee guy. So you'll see he kind of stretches and squashes as you kind of uh, pull him about the place. Um, but it gives, it gives the whole thing a bit more life. It makes it feel like a kind of stretchy, squashy thing uh, that's a bit, that's hopefully kind of more engaging to play with. Um, and then uh, actual graphics, um, which is where things start to look more visually interesting. And you'll also notice um, there's a lot more particle effects now. Uh, all of this is just to kind of make the game feel more alive and make to make it feel more dynamic. Um, and what I'm probably going to do is insert a wee slow mo shot so you can get a better, better view of all the particle effects that are going on here. Um, and then uh, better sound. Uh, this part's always fun when you're making a game because, or at least what I like to do is um, basically record a bunch of sounds around my flat. So the sounds you're hearing are made up of a whole bunch of things like um, uh, me hitting frying pans or knocking on doors. Um, uh, the sound effect that you hear when the wee guy collects something is partly me munching on an apple. Um, and all the, all the sounds are basically uh, multiple things all layered together, um, which is always a really kind of fun process. Um, so the final um, layer in this game uh, is the dynamic background, which is, which is my favourite part of it. Um, and probably the least necessary, but um, I really like how it kind of makes the whole thing feel a bit more dynamic, um, a bit less static and um, flat. Um, so yeah, we're almost done here. I'm just going to collect this fruit bowl, and then rainbows, and the end. Uh, so I'll leave you there. Uh, you can... Um, Download the game for free on itch.io. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can play it there. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.